going to talk about um, creating image quotes with Canva. And as John says, this is one of the um, tools I use every day and I really enjoy, you know, using that. Um, shareable images, as it says there, are the key to creating engaging, con engaging content um, for f followers and prospective audiences. Um, having shareable images does really engage the audience, engages them as they can share your image. So they're able to share their image with other people or with their followers, sorry. Um, by commenting on your image, you know, you can really create some engagement that way as well. And images um, create engagement in the way that people enjoy, will begin to enjoy what you post. And if you're posting then information or quotes and images that they're really saying, oh, that's interesting, they will come back to your page and perhaps look out for some more. Um, so that's the way we can create engagement using images. Um, starting with Canva, it's a, a tool that I use all the time. Um, to actually just start right from the scratch, you just go to www.canva.com and it's a free site. So you can use this and create your images with no cost. Um, and all you need to do, first of all, is register with your email address and put in a password. Putting in the password and remembering the password is probably the hardest bit about getting into Canva. Um, just a quick, you know, if you just quickly want information, um, you go into the click plus more drop down at the right hand side once you're logged in. You'll see that once you get logged in and that's where it hosts all of the templates for all of the social media platforms you'll use. Um, and it's extensive so it's really really got a lot of um, great information you can use there. So that's just a brief overview of how you get into it. So the question is asked, well, where do I get the images, you know, that I'm going to use as we're talking today about mainly quote images. That's what we're talking about. So where do we get the images to put behind the quotes? So I've just picked out, um, picked out three places where we can get um, images from. So one of the ones is take your own pictures, you know, use your mobile when you're out and about. Um, if you're out somewhere nice, somewhere scenic, you know, just snap a couple of photographs and there you've got an image right away to use behind your quotes. And it means you've not got any copyright issues, obviously, because it's your own. Um, don't use images from Google, you know, just Google an image and download it. It's not a stock library um, Google. It's other people's images and if you use them, they could come back to you, you know, asking for copyright. Um, it's such an important point, Sandra, isn't it? Another, yeah, yeah I yeah. think so, because it can be easy, or oh, just Google an image and download it. I um, know. But I, it it's so me tempting. All the time it's so yeah. tempting that we see something that looks really <laughs> gorgeous in Google, and but you're really saying to us, no, we've got to be careful. These are other people's property, and yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I suppose in a way, well, it's only fair, you know, and it, they could have paid for that as well. So it's um, got to keep in mind the copyright because we want to keep ourselves ourselves right all the time. <laughs> yes. Um, another one, a point that. I was seeing advice from somewhere was to have somebody maybe take photos for you. So perhaps if you know someone who's a good photographer um, or who's just going somewhere really, really nice on their holidays and is going to be surrounded by lovely scenery, maybe ask them just to um, take some photos for you and send them by email. So I thought that was quite a good idea. And the other thing that we do is using the actual Canva images themselves. So you can actually, we'll see it in a moment, you can go on to Canva and you can just use their image for free. There is little images that you can use that will be $1 per image, um, and if you want to use them, then that, that's fine as well. Um, but just keeping it totally free is just great, and it's a great asset um, to your marketing and your social media. So a top tip that I'm going to leave um, people with is remember to add your logo and your website to your images. So People might think, well, I would do that anyway, but it's just, just a tip before you kind of create them and send them off. Um, just add a little logo and your website just to let people have a little bit of a call to action. You know, if they see if they, the logos, I'm sorry, if the image is getting shared, then they're like, oh, I know where that came from and I'll go and visit that website. That's quite a good idea. Yeah. Along with that, though, is to remember not to be too heavy with the branding. Um, you want people to share the images um, on their sites as well and if it's too kind of heavily promoted with your own branding it could stop people it's just a point um, that I had read as a tip that 
it could stop people if they feel that they're then promoting you because the image is full of your and logos and things, but enough to show where it's come from, but just not be too heavily, heavily branded. So these are it's six steps, John. Um, I hope that's too, not too many steps. Okay. Yes, I can see them all on the page. Okay. That's great, yes. Sandra. Thank so you. So what I'll do is I'll just read them through and then we can just have a little example and I can do a little demonstration of it. Um, so basically following these six steps, you can have your, your image quote made, shared, and then, you know, who knows where it's going to go and who can have a look at it. So first of all, I would suggest find your favourite quote either find it on Google or you might know already off by hand. Um, log into Canva, as I said before, and then choose the Facebook or Twitter template. You'll see that quite clearly. And the reason why I've chosen those two, I'll, I'll tell you that in a moment. Um, you choose a photograph by clicking search and then photos. As I say, you'll see that um, when you go in there. You add text from the left-hand side, paste it into your, um, paste your quote onto the text and add your logo. That's the five steps that that's it done. You then download the image. And what I would then suggest you to do is tag ourselves. So tag online events via Twitter or Facebook. And if you do that, send it through to us, we will then share your image. So I think that's a great way just to be sharing everybody's favorite quotes. And sometimes you get to know people a little bit by you know, finding out what the favorite quote is and things like that. Um, a little tip there, it shows use a border around your image and that makes it stand out. That's just a little bit extra tip. That was to okay. squeeze another one in, but it's not seven points on the slide, isn't it, no. Sandra? <laughs> <laughs> We've got just that extra tip, but that we'll be able to see that as we, you know, as we go through the demonstration. Fantastic. And Sandra, as I said, it, we'll send out these PowerPoint slides um, just so everybody can kind of work through it. And then there's links to our Facebook and our Twitter and you can email us so you know in any way whatever one you use facebook or twitter um send us your quotes and then we can we can share it we can also share it on other platforms as well but those are the two main ones for for the images okay yeah. so that just gives a brief overview of how canva works when you're creating a quote image um and then adding your your website on there that, and this is the, the kind of task that you've got for us. You're going to show us how to do this now, Sandra, and then hoping that the group, yeah. that we as a group, can take this away, make our own quotes, and share them with each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then if we're yeah if we're sharing them out, and then other people see them, and then they can share them out. As you say, connect with each other's um, Facebook pages and Twitter handles, and it's it's a bit of fun as well. And then we can kind of connect that way. And learn. <laughs> and learn together, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just go over to Canva. Okay. And if there's any questions before we go into Canva, we can have a look at that first. Yeah, and I can yes. see that you're now logging into yes, your I'll browser. Yes, I'll just log into Canva here. Um, I'm not sure if everyone can see, but in the address bar yes. is www.canva.com. Um, yes, yeah. Now, I'll log in. Logged in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so, can you see that? Can you see the Canva main page? Okay. Yeah, it's I'll all wait coming up now. here. Do you want to check before we go ahead? Yeah, let's just pause because as it loads, I yes. think it's it's kind of breaking up your sound a little bit. Um, okay. Sorry. Here we are in this resource, which you log in online in your web page, and that's what you've just done, Sandra, haven't you? We can um, see that you're on the Canva website, ready to start working. Yeah. Okay. I can see yes. you're opening up. I'm going to try the other one if it makes any better using it, of course. Okay. Are you closing your Chrome down, Sandra? I'm just trying to close the Chrome down. I think the internet's just playing the funny games with me today. Oh, I think I'll just no. go back. So it's a little bit slow. A little bit slow. Okay. So can you see the screen here? Can everybody see yeah. what's on the, I on the main page? I can see that. Yes, I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I'll just run through the demonstration. Does anybody have any questions you want to ask first? Well, let's do the demo and see, yeah. and then see what we've got at the end. How's that for you, Sandra? Perfect, yeah. that's perfect. Okay, so that was a little um, up here, the little more button that I had talked about on the slides. So we just click on there. And what we're going to demonstrate is doing the Facebook post. Okay, so can you see that? It has Facebook under there, it's got Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I'll just throw it up here. I think everybody around me in the street must be on the internet. It's slowing me down. Oh no. It's taken it's just taken a while to load up, isn't it? So that's what everybody's seeing is that the, the broadband is not so broad. Yes. Here we go. Well we can just we can just take our time, Sandra, because it's there's a lot to see in here anyway. So just yeah. For sure. Yeah. No need to rush and we can just great. Okay. So now you should see just a blank drawing page. Can you see that, yeah? Yes, absolutely. Oh, oh. So a quick tip. Um, as I said, first of all, you find your coat. So I've got my coat here, coat here, for Maya Angelo. I think that's how you pronounce the name. And so first of all, what I'm going to do is just copy and paste that. And if, to very, very quickly create um, your image, you could choose one of these already little free images on the left hand side. So I can see that. There's a whole bunch of images on the left. They don't cost anything to use, they're copyright free. And if you click on it, yeah. There we go. So Actually, I can Actually, once it's got a little free on it here. So basically, you just click your mouse on it and then it'll come up here on the right hand side. And there's already a quote then, in there. And you just paste in, that's right. So effectively, you could actually use these quotes. You could use them already, which is great. <laughs> it's really, really great. So what I've done is I've put my quote in here. The text is just too big for the page. So you can just click on the actual number size of text and then you can change it there like that. Is that coming up on the screen okay? Yeah, we can see yeah. that the you're just... So you've copied and pasted your own quote in here. Yes. Yeah, and you're just changing the size of the text so it fits nicely in that box. That's yeah. right. Yeah. And then you can see, I've chosen quite a long quote, um, so it can be long or short, um, but I think that's quite, I just love that quote, so <laughs> I'll put that in. Um, this is the really quick way to do it. And then effectively, you've got your quote image. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see it. So you just grab that quote from your Word document and popped it on Canva. And suddenly you've got this lovely image with a really profound statement. Yeah. Let me read the quote. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will yeah. forget what yeah. you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. It's just a profound yeah. quote, isn't it, Sandra? Yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. yeah, it's nice. So once you've done that, you just click on the download here and then you can choose how you download it. And we can talk another day about PDFs and things like that, but you would just choose image here. That's just a really quick way. And as you said as before, you could take one of those quotes, any free one, and then download it and use it for yourself. But just to have a little bit of um, kind of personality, you know, and, and do your own quote here, I'll just start again. And just to show you what it's like, just to work from a blank page. I'm just going to delete all here. Okay. okay. So you're going so to you start again. Start for in us. the search, and yeah. it's the top one on the left hand. Side. Yes. And um, we'll just do a brand. This is how you do it from scratch, and really make your own. You know, and um, put your own taste on it. You click on the photos down the bottom, and you can see here there's really a lot of lovely images that Canva have produced. And they're all free. Can you see the little? I don't know if you can see I can the little see free thing, images, but yeah, you can see that yeah. the ones that are not going to cost you. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, we could just take one like this. You can see the image doesn't fit in the actual shape because we've chosen a Facebook, but it doesn't matter at all because you just go up to the corners and you can drag them through here. And the great thing I like about this is that you don't need to use the image as it is, you can home in on perhaps one part of the image. So I really, really like the sunset on this. So you can kind of, you're kind of stretching it out. So that it would sit like that. Yeah, so you can use one part of the image. That's a really more. nice idea, Sandra, yeah. just, yeah. yeah. Because some images, something in the image you wouldn't really put on it. You know, you might think, well, I wouldn't really have that in my image. But you can just stretch it out and then it becomes um, part of the image there. 
So the next thing to do is you can you click on the text on the left hand side. And see so you're clicking on text, it gives you a little kind of font to use. You can use the little text um kind of ready made text underneath that. For just now, for doing quotes, I just normally use this bottom bit of text here. So you just click on that, and then it jumps into the screen. A little bit of text come up there. I don't know if you can see that. You you highlight all of that, and then you paste in your quotes. And I'll have the name pasted here, and then we'll just talk about how you can make it stand out in a moment. Okay. So you've got the click on the text. Maya's name, so that, that she's been referenced in the quote, and now you're copying the actual quote itself. Yeah. yeah. Great. So it's, it's too small, so I wouldn't have it like this. So again, you just click on the number, and then too big. <laughs> you too make big. it bigger. Okay. Um, you play about with it. It really needs a lot of him. <laughs> it's okay. So it's not really standing out. You can see, we can't even see her name really yes. well. Yeah. So this is a term that I've learned from somebody. You still, we can put the letters or the writing to white. It's still not standing out that much. If you go back to search and scroll up and click on shapes. Now, again, it's just all down to preference, but this is a little bit of a tip. And you, you click on the little square here, which will give you your square onto the main body here. Change it to black and then make the transparency, depending on the picture, um, take it down to about here. Now you can either use it in the middle or just overlay the actual whole picture, but you'll, you'll see the reason why in a moment. Once you click on the black, um, I'll just decrease this a wee bit. You can see up here it gives you options. Can you see the little back on here? Yes, I can see that. So yeah. We would just click back and you see what oh, happens with the wow. writing. Oh, Sandra, that's incredible. <laughs> yes. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you just highlight that. Now, again, it's up to taste because people might think, well, it's taken away a bit of the colour, so you could um, you could even do it in the centre, you know. Yeah. But that's a way to make your, your writing stand out if you've got any image that's got a lot of cut in. Contrast. This is a great tip because it would not be obvious. Yeah. 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 Do it so, that so actually seeing you do that gives us a sense of how to make the, the text stand out. That's yeah. that looks great, Sandra. Really nice. Yeah. And and then you, as you say, it's something with personality. Um we could use our own picture or one of the pictures that are free there and really start to do something creative. Yeah. Yes. It's lovely. Yeah. So you just I'm just going to make this a lot bit bigger the name yeah so you want Maya's name to stand out so that the quote's yeah. clearly referenced definitely oh yes. thanks for the feedback and because people recognize the name oh, oh yes, that's a great tip definitely. thanks we really appreciate that what you've okay. done with the text there that's great <laughs> yeah that's fab. and then you can change the font you know that this little bit on the left um will change the font coming down Mm -hmm. And it's just been a little slow today, so it's not working too well. The little bit we had said about the border um, makes it stand out. I'm just going to change a little bit here. So you're just getting the right font, aren't you, and the right size, just so that it really yeah. looks nice. Yeah. 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 I'm just going to take the You can make it smaller here on the left just to kind of work away at it. Um, so it, you can kind of change it about just to see what, what suits you for the best. Then the borders we're talking about, um, this is another tip. If you just type in border on the left hand side on the search and just scroll down to the left and find the, the screen one here. If you just change the color to white and then you can just quickly Pull it to the side and you can see just when you're putting the border on like just how it kind of transfers it yeah that looks nice doesn't that. it yeah then you can it kind of pulls out yeah it really draws attention to the text and you've still got the picture there but the quote really is um 
Standing out. It's lovely, Sandra. Yeah. Fantastic. So, and then you can add your little marks in. Yeah. Okay, to put your um, website, you just click on text again on the left. Yeah. You can choose any one of these because you can adjust it later. And we'll put our website in here. Change it to white. And you can really see how the white stands out. Put this anywhere. Yeah. Um, and of course, this is what you're saying earlier, not to overbrand it. Just that. Um, so you would put in the online events website yeah, so yeah. people know that, you know, you've posted it and it's come from us. Um, but it, you were saying before, if that is too big, maybe mm -hmm, people mm -hmm. won't share it because they're like, oh, no, this is this is not about online events. This is about <laughs> the, the quote. Yeah. 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 We had our full logo behind the things like that. Um, and basically, that's how you can kind of create um, the image right away. Yeah. And so I think I think it's great. You know, it gives you. And if you were um, if you were uploading your own picture, you just click upload, and upload from your your desktop or whatever. But I think it's great just to start practicing with the pictures that are on there. Um, Definitely, that's a great place to start. And then you click the download button. Yes. Well, just talk us through the options that are there when you when you press mm -hmm. download. Yeah. Okay, so you can download it two image formats. You've got JPEG and your PNG. To be quite honest, <laughs> um, I do the PNG because I, that's just how I've always done my, you know, but if you know any different from your, <laughs> from your images, that's fine. Um, if you're, the PDF is perhaps if you're wanting to create perhaps a document or an ebook and things like that. Um, but for this one, you just click on high quality for your image. And you can see that it just highlights the design. If you've used a paid design, you know, if you've paid a dollar for your, it kind of asks you at this point um, to pay for it. So um, don't get frightened that you think, oh, I might start using designs and I'll um, mount up a big bill. Do you know what I mean? They don't actually let you download it without you saying, oh, that's fine. I downloaded one I have to pay for. Yes, yes. So you're not going to pay without knowing. Absolutely. no. no. And of course, there's so much free resources in Canva that it's not necessary. Um, so, but what you've done, you've downloaded it onto your desktop and then you can upload it into Twitter, you can upload it into Facebook. Yeah, so there's the file. It's all ready to go. Um, you can put yes. that on the online events Facebook page, I guess, your personal Facebook page. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we've got some yes. good questions yes. coming in, Sandra. What I'll I can do is after is the event. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> after the event, I'll post it, um, and then. Great, yeah. Sandra. Yeah. I just but I'll post it, and then people can, if they want, they can like. <laughs> yeah, great, Sandra. Okay. That's great. The time has just flashed by, hasn't it? Why don't you come back on screen, mm. and then we can yes. take some questions cool. and.